So today we are going to be doing three different methods of solving ratios. And the first method that we are going to do is called the vertical method. And the example that we are going to do for this is 3 over 12 equals 5 over x. Now since this is the vertical method, we are going to be looking at the numbers like this. Um, so we're looking at it as how many 3's can go into 12, which is 4. So we know that 4 is the number that we need to multiply um, 5 by to be able to get x. I know this because if 3 of 3 4s gets to 12 and these are equivalent then 5 4s equals x. So 5 times 4 equals 20. So x equals 20. So the ratios is 3 over 12 equals 5 over 20. Now, the second method that we are going to be doing is called the horizontal method. And the example that we are going to be doing for this x over 10 equals 4 over 5. Now in this method we are looking at straight across so what to like what number does both denominators like have in common or what does it take to get from to this number to this number so that number would be 2. So we know that since 5 times 2 equals 10 then we have to multiply 4 times 2 to equal x. So 4 times 2 equals 8, meaning x equals 8. And then the last one that we are going to do is called the cross-sectional method. And the example that we are going to be doing for this is 4 over 6 equals x over 21. Now in the cross-sectional one, we are multiplying 4 by 21 and 6 by x. So here, 4 times 21 equals, because this will go off to one side and then this will go off on the other side. Um, so 4 times 21 equals 6x, and then we solve for x. So 4 times 21 is 84, and still equals 6x. Divide by 6 on each side to isolate x, and 84 divided by 6 is 14, so x equals 14. Those are three different methods of solving for ratios. I personally prefer the cross-sectional one um, because it's straight algebra and you're able to get the answer instead of having to think about what number times what would equal x. This cross-sectional is just straight algebra. So that's my preference, but those are the three different methods for solving ratios.